Hey everybody, hope you are doing well. All right, let's visit some more Alan Holdsworth for my um, guitar geek shredder nuts that are out there, people who love uh, jazz fusion avant-garde guitar playing greatness. Um, today we're going to do a live version of Alan's song, Non-Brewed Condiments.
and to do that in front of a live audience. Now, it's funny because I remember seeing a question out there not terribly long ago. Um, I can't remember where it was. Maybe it was on some form of social media or whatever it was. But the question was, is Alan Holdsworth a guitar playing genius or, his, or are his parts just difficult to play? And it's an intriguing question because to the novice's ears, his guitar playing just sort of seems scattershot. But to an educated guitar player, it makes perfect sense. And so it's really kind of an interesting question because um, I guess it depends upon your perspective as a listener. If you're coming from the side where you know about music and you know about composition, then it probably lends you towards the, towards the side of the argument that he's a musical genius. And given how much of an influence he was on so many guitar players, whether you're talking about players like Eddie Van Halen or Steve Vai or whoever. And then there's the other side of it again, which is sort of just sort of the novice listener who just likes a groove that you can dance to, you know, the old play something I can dance to uh, type of comment to that type of listener, to that type of person, then I can understand how it just is like, well, he's clearly he can play all over the place, but it's just noise. So it's got to just, it's just difficult, right? It's not, it's not special. It doesn't even make any sense, which again, that's sort of the, just the casual listeners mentality. And every once in a while, you'll get a person who's a casual listener who could be like, oh my God, that's, that's incredible. That's genius. Those would be a, a personality type that tends to lend themselves towards a jazz mindset. And then you can get the highly educated guitar player, the highly educated musician who will listen to it and go, well, it's impossible to play, but it's also just a bunch of noise that doesn't make any sense in the context of how contemporary music is written. Well, he's not a contemporary guitar player. He's, he's way outside the the normal bounds of your traditional guitar uh, or your traditional music composer um he ain't a one four five guy let's put it the other that way and um so again i think it's a very interesting question i'll be curious to find out what you you all will think um i err on the side of musical genius personally but it's mostly because I can't play what he plays. And there aren't too many people who can actually play what he plays. I mean, the guy's legato technique is just otherworldly in many ways. So anyway, curious to find out what you think. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Um, know that I appreciate you and I wish you all well. Till next time, y'all take care.